Hey everyone, it's Tyler Baronski. I'm here at Jacksonville Collective Con with Kyle Abair, voice actor. Kyle, thanks for taking the time to come on. Absolutely, it's great to be here, man. Absolutely. Hey, and you're the voice actor for some of the most beloved characters out there in anime and video games. I mean, young Gohan in Dragon Ball Z, uh, Kiba and Naruto, Ryu in Street Fighter. Tell me, out of all the characters you know you've done, you did the voice work for, which one came most natural to you? Which one were you like, hey, I can do this voice right away, no problem? Well, Gohan is is pretty much my own voice, really. I mean, it was pitched up a little bit more on Dragon Ball Z because he was younger, but um, and that's what really jump-started my career in voiceover is just getting on such a huge tentpole franchise like Z, and I was already a fan, too, so yeah. imagine how cool it would be to be a fan of something, and then you get to be a part of something yeah. like that. So, yeah, that's trippy, but... Uh, that comes pretty easily. I've got a wide range of voices in me, like doing doing Ryu and very, you know, stuff down here. That comes naturally too. It's no big deal. Like next time on Dragon Ball Z, getting to be the narrator. Yes. Ooh, Rock King. Ooh, boy. You know, or Kiba. You know, yeah. all over the place. It it comes pretty easily for me, and uh, I've been very very blessed to 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 work on all the shows and games all these years. That's amazing. Now with all those different voices, that means like a bag of tricks. You ever like? Uh phone calling, you know, someone switching up the voicemail conversation. You ever do that on people, prank them a little bit? I haven't done that, but people keep daring me to go through the drive through at like McDonald's yes, or something. that'd be perfect. Order something as the narrator. I'll take a, a Big Mac with cheese and Super Saiyan size that, you know. <laughs> haven't done it yet, but when I do, I'll definitely be uh, YouTube or Twitch worthy. Oh, that would go viral for sure. No doubt about it. Now, doing voice acting, I've heard it's, it's not like you're surrounded with all the other actors. You know, you're kind of like almost like in a room by yourself. Is that kind of how the procedure works? You know, just being a little more isolated and reading your lines? For video games and anime dubbing, yeah, it does record one actor at a time because of technical constraints. You're either matching lip, set, lip sync with the video or matching the timing of the Japanese audio if we're adapting a Japanese game into English. Uh, with cartoons, though, Family Guy, Futurama, that sort of thing, that has an American cast, and, it, and the audio is done before the animation. So they record as a cast all together. Okay. That's the most fun because sure. you get to play off each other's performance and watch everyone screw up. They get to watch you screw up. And, <laughs> and you have a little more freedom with improv and, and things like that. And then a year or two later, the, the uh, animation comes back from Korea. Yes, cartoons, wow. American cartoons tend to get farmed out the animation to Asia. Uh, even anime gets farmed out to Korea to get shows done at, the, at this breakneck speed. Um, so, yeah, the shows come back and like, we don't even have any visual reference of what is going to happen. We're looking at a script for a cartoon, whereas with anime, you got the finished animation on screen, so okay. we can see what's happening. So it's, it's cool either way. I think yeah. fun, they're both challenging and extremely rewarding in their own right. Super interesting. Uh, final question for you, Kyle. I mean, you're here at Jacksonville Collective Con right now. How much fun is that for you? You know, meet all these fans that are fans of your work over the years and just meeting them in person. Uh, it's, it's gravy, man. It's icing on the cake because I've been doing this since 2000 with Dragon Ball Z and getting to live my dream and uh, entertaining folks around the world with the shows and projects I've been so blessed to be a part of. That means the world to me. Whether people come up and say, hey, I play your games, or I watched your show, you helped me get through a depression and funk or whatever, or I was stationed in Iraq, or I was dealing with uh, personal trauma or family issues, and watching this show, playing this game, whatever, really helped me through a, a dark time. And it's like, that means the world, that's, that's cool. Being a part of the entertainment business is really therapy if you think about it. It's, it's, it's much needed escape from the harsh world, you know? It's it's kind of scary out there with all the the shootings and bombings and, and the politics and the hate and all that. And we come into the pop culture world to escape all that. And uh, yeah, I, I'm grateful to the fans, absolutely, for, for embracing this world. I embrace it too, I love it all. Awesome. Hey, well Kyle, thanks so much for taking the time and enjoy the rest of the event, all right? Absolutely, take care guys. Thank you. This is Kyle Abair, the voice of the narrator from Dragon Ball Z. Remember, if you want to watch more videos, subscribe now.